really know where to just start this vlog off. I guess I'm just gonna sit here in Oakley's room. Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Girl, it's Sunday, it's the next Sunday after the last Sunday y'all saw. Um, and let me tell y'all, I, I vlogged this week, but I did not have a good week. And um, I personally can't bring myself to edit the footage because I just didn't have a good, I mean, it's not that I, I didn't have a, I mean, what am I trying to say? The week was decent, but I dealt with a lot of anxiety and stuff this week and this past week and just was not in the best place um, in every clip that I got mentally. And a lot of it was talking. I don't know why I wanted to talk so much. I think I was just trying to get my feelings out or whatever. So a lot of it was like talking segments and um, like a lot of talking, like hours upon hours of talking. And I cannot bring myself to edit that to kind of relive some of the stuff that happened over the week or some of the things that I felt. I've dealt with them, I'm dealing with them. I want to move on so I am not posting that vlog it is staying in my personal I put it on my hard drive and that's that Oakley is crying she's currently watching Doc McStuffins um she and I went to the mall earlier I'm gonna show y'all everything that we got we didn't get a ton of stuff I went to the mall specifically to go into Ulta um because I, I like the Ulta that is inside the mall or that is inside the outlet mall but I went to Burlington and I haven't gone to Burlington in a very long time. So I'm gonna show y'all what we got from Burlington. Um, and I went into Ulta just to get um, hyaluronic acid because I have not made any, oh sorry y'all, have not made any hyaluronic acid in a very long time. And I've just been using what works. And if you know, um, y'all know that the Good Molecules one is my favorite right now. So this is just, what I've been using and then I also grabbed another one of the Yerba Mate um, Wake Up Eye Gels because I really like this too. Um, and to be very honest with y'all, I've been keeping my skincare very simple recently. Um, I also am trying to use up stuff. I have so many products um, that I'll use consistently for like a week or two and then I'll switch over to something else and I'm really tired of doing that because I'm not seeing anything changing in my skin um another thing is i haven't made myself any skincare products in a couple of months and i don't know if that's part of it like i haven't made myself my face like i haven't done anything so i've just been using other brands and trying a lot of different things out um and like i said i have not been consistent with using any products like to use a product you need to use a product for like almost eight to twelve weeks to see results um, and we know this and so I have not been consistent with products so I've been just like my skin is moisturized but like it's just not as good as it could be if that makes sense um, so recently I have either been using as far as cleansers go um, I've been using the CeraVe Renewing SA cleanser um, with ceramides and salicylic acid because hormones um are raging again I, I got my period back so that's that and i've also been using the hydrating facial cleanser this is like my winter cleanser every year i grab this around this time of year this is the one that i use um just because my skin can get dry um it's between this or like one of my oatmeal bars but i've been really just using this and this one has uh ceramides and hyaluronic acid in it which i love if you know me you've watched my videos or you've ever shopped for my brand when it was open Y'all know that hyaluronic acid is, that's my girl. Um, and then I also like to use the daily moisturizing lotion to go with this. And that has been kind of like the base of my skincare. I will switch, with the moist, will switch up the moisturizers just depending on what my skin needs. But I try to stick to those two face washes. Um, I have a few. And then... Every once in a while, I'll work in this biome. You see what I mean? Like I got so much stuff that I'm not using up. So I'm gonna finish up the CeraVe and then probably switch back to the bioma to finish her up. I have the Good Molecules, a few of their cleansers, the rose water. I also have the cleansing bar that I have not finished. So I'm just out here doing a whole lot of stuff. I also got some skincare products from Desi Perkins. 
um and i just finished those up that was like on the top of the list because i got those over the summer um and i had not finished them so i just finished the vitamin c serum and now i'm finishing up the moisturizer um I, I used the spray but I wasn't a huge fan of it my the spray part top of my sprayer broke so I think that's why I was not a huge fan of it um and I ended up just throwing the spray away because the top the spray broke like it was hard for me to get the product out but I used those two cleansers I've been using this moisturizer for the most part and then oh this this one is actually Jamal's we have two I don't know why we both have a bottle of each but whatever um and then i've been using the hyaluronic acid i really should not have opened this because i still have like a, an amount in my other one but i wanted to grab the 12 or the 2.5 um fluid ounce because i always get the small one um so i've just been using my hyaluronic acid i've also been using the nice cinnamide serum because for whatever reason i've had some texture on my nose so i've been trying to get rid of that and it's pretty much gone i mean like my pores are not they don't feel like they're you know big or anything um and then i also have this discoloration serum which i have not been consistent with using so it's pretty much cleanser moisturizer hyaluronic um acid at nighttime i am still using my um clarity face oil um because i just feel like that's the one thing that i've been consistent with and i'm gonna keep using it um of course my sunscreen you guys know this is my favorite sunscreen this is the um hawaiian tropic silk hydration weightless face sunscreen it's not focusing but this is my favorite sunscreen and that's pretty much it um and then i'm also using up this vitamin c serum from trader joe's so it seems like a lot but it's what two serums a moisturizer sunscreen and then my under eye I've been keeping it simple. I know that might not seem simple, but it's simple. Trust me. Um, Cause some days I even just do moisturizer um, and uh, my under eye. I don't even do the whole shebang, um, but I'm trying to get better at doing it. And like I said, the cleansers stay pretty consistent. The under eye stays consistent. The serums stay consistent. The moisturizers, I switch up a little bit just cause all my moisturizers have the same kind of like effect they have hyaluronic acid in them or there's some type of like super thick moisturizer or whatever so i try i switch those up every once in a while um what else have i been using that i want to tell y'all about this schmidt i think i'm saying that right schmidt's yeah natural deodorant um this is the charcoal and magnesium i have been using this product this is like my fifth i've been using it since i was pregnant because when i got pregnant Smells were just like, I, I think it was because I was just pregnant in the summer. So I was always hot. I was always sweating, um, especially if I had to go outside. I was just, it was rough when I got toward the end of my, like in the third trimester. So I decided to switch over to a natural deodorant. Um, and this is the one that I switched over to and I've been using it ever since. Um, and now if I try to use something other that that perspiration starts to come back this is like the only thing that's working for me right now so i've been really loving this i want to try another one of the scents but i'm scared too so i'm just gonna stick with this charcoal and magnesium and this smells so good when i say it smells so good um when i smell it it's almost nostalgic i can't get away from all the products that i was using in my third trimester because a lot of them um bring back like nostalgia for me a little bit um from when we had oakley like i just remember having this deodorant on and certain lotions and stuff i remember having on having her so i can't get i can't stop using certain things right now um to try anything new i've just been very much a creature of habit as of recently all that for a pacifier i know you're sleepy though what i'm about to do is turn that light off and try to see if she'll take a nap but as I was saying before I was interrupted by my precious, precious poo, um, I feel like everything has been just life and I don't get a chance to update y'all on like the fun stuff we used to talk about. Like I still do those things, you know, use skincare. I just, she is not feeling going to sleep in her crib right now. Um, or she was not feeling it when we got home. I think she was just too overstimulated from the mall. So she fought me. Um, for about 30 minutes for a nap and at that point I was just like never mind I'm not going to force you because at this point you would be getting up her last nap is typically only an hour and we made it home just in time for her to wind down and take that nap so she had about a 10 minute 
10 15 minute wind down time we ate we rocked in the chair with the lights off and then i put her down and she slept for maybe three minutes and then woke up screaming and every time i came back to comfort her um she just wasn't having it we're not like well she is sleeping in her room at night i feel like i deserve y'all deserve an updated video on like baby update and all this stuff so i'll do that at some point but she is sleeping in her room now at night um i think i told y'all that in the last vlog actually and so we're doing we're doing okay this is like week three yeah i think this is week three week four this is week four she started like the second week of january sleeping in her room so um but right now i'm getting ready to pull out oakley some clothes for tomorrow and clothes for bedtime i try to do that because it just helps me in the morning when it's time for me to get her up to get her dressed because she gets up at eight i start work at nine um and it just helps me to make sure that number one i'm putting clothes on her every day like i don't want her just in the house in onesies or just in you know her her little zip ups um every single day some days it's cool but i try to put clothes on her um especially if we have to spontaneously go out sometimes i have to run to the grocery store or target or you know mail or whatever so i like to have clothes on her um and just so that she gets into the habit like it's a habit i'm trying to teach myself to get up and put clothes on every single day a habit that i'm constantly you know working towards i want her to have the habit already i just feel like when you get dressed whether it's a clean pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt and you know you get your socks on like when you got your whole thing together you just feel better and you work better through the day whatever that looks like if it's just going to school if it's just errands whatever and still that happens to my child so she don't have to learn it later in life like i did and to be very honest with y'all i'm not even gonna say that i learned it later in life because when it was time for us to go someplace like my mom made sure we were dressed i just i think as i maybe when i went to college i just stopped caring i don't know i don't know what point where i had to learn the lesson at but i just had to relearn it so um and i actually was always the type of person like you would i used to tell my family this all the time when i was younger like you would rather have clothes on and be ready and put together because you never know who you're gonna run into so i don't know at one point at what point in my life i just got a little lazy probably happened around the pandemic how about that um i need to see it's also probably time for us to do a little shopping trip for oakley again soon so i mean she has a ton of clothes don't get me wrong um probably she probably don't need no more clothes right now but anyway i feel like it's time for us to do a little refresh maybe pull put up some new things that she's ready to wear and then pull out some old stuff maybe um okay um so she's just gonna actually put on this little outfit there Gigi brought her this little cheetah print number because y'all know babies girl crazy and i feel like this is what this is one to three months and i'm pretty sure she's gonna I know she can still fit this maybe my baby is five months so you know but it's super stretchy and the last time she wore it wasn't too long ago so i feel like she could still she could still fit it so she's gonna wear that tomorrow um that'll probably be her last time wearing it unfortunately but whatever we just put we've been putting up um clothes we've been saving diaper boxes to put up her clothes um what was i about to do her pajamas hold on y'all because she also has clothes on our bed that I need to fold so okay we're gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna come in here to our bedroom um and I'm going to fold sorry it's so blue we have these um HD fluorescent no is it fluorescent no it's not we have these HD white lights in our lamps and I need to switch them to something warmer because that is just I don't know why I did that we got these lights for the bathroom so the bathroom could be brighter like the vanity mirror in the bathroom but um these light bulbs had gone out and i put the two extra into them and we really need like the warmer lights like the one in oakley's room because this just at this time of night i'm trying to like calm myself and wind down if you know what i mean i forgot how much i actually like burlington um i haven't been in a burlington in years and this one was a little bit bigger because it was in an outlet mall i forgot how big it was i forgot how much stuff there were maybe this was just a really good burlington too that could have also been it um they had so much stuff they had bar stools that i wanted so bad but who was carrying bar stools with a baby like and they were really inexpensive i don't know um anyway the first thing i got was this bop bop baby fresh food feeder 
you just put whatever food is down here i think you freeze it you can freeze it or just leave it um but we start baby led weaning next month and so i saw these things and when i went in there i went in with the intention to be like oh let me get stuff that i know we need um but i also got her the Baba baby feeding set for her little baby led weaning we also y'all um something exciting we actually have a brand to work with um and we are going to be doing that this week um she and i and jamal i'm trying to figure out a way to incorporate him into the story line that we're kind of putting together um which i'm excited about and this little heart plate i thought was super cute so i don't know how i'm gonna incorporate this heart plate into the um campaign that we have to shoot but i'm gonna figure out how to do it because it's just so cute just to set it up and i'm excited because it's actually a brand that we love as a family for oakley um when it comes to stuff like working with brands or anything first of all dream like that's just only something that i could have ever dreamed about it's been a goal of mine to actually work with brands that i love and who would have thought that i would have found a brand for my kid that i like um and i only want to share the stuff with y'all that actually like helps us as a family and helps me as a woman and helps jamal as a man like you know if you get what i'm saying in those ways i don't want to share crap that i know we don't use like no offense somebody had reached out to me for a shampoo and conditioner and i'm just like yo i'm natural what do i look like coming up to somebody telling them to use the shampoo and conditioner i would never use that y'all don't even cater to me like no offense um so i just want to be intentional about the things that i actually share and i'm very excited to be sharing this brand because so far the products that we've used from them have actually been really great and we use them on a daily basis so um i can't wait for y'all to see that and when you see it just support us okay support this mama who's um chasing her dreams <laughs> um then i got these munchkin brushes i get these all the time from target i try to switch them out you know every couple months um and it says every 30 to 45 days so that's about right um so i got two of them because it's about time that we switch our brush out and i'm pretty sure at target i pay over five dollars for these and they were only five dollars I should look it up. Let me see. Where's my phone? Because now I'm curious how much do I pay at Target. It's probably not that huge of a price difference, but if I save a dollar, I think I'm doing something right, right? So I saved a dollar. Then I also got myself something. I grabbed myself this Grace Upon Grace, if you know me. Like, I took, I did a, uh, a haul for TikTok showing them the brothers and stuff. Y'all, if I could have just went in right there at the... <laughs> Could have just went in right there at the Burlington. Baby in the cart just could have went in right there. Grace. Y'all just do not know. Grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon mercy upon mercy. Um, you just do. <laughs> you can only imagine. Okay. I was um, in the car on the way to Burlington and I was praying and um I just was, I don't know, I was praying and in the midst of me praying, I was like, yo God, grace and mercy, grace and mercy. There is no way, there is plenty of things that literally should have took me out, took my family out, to like grace and mercy. And then I saw this and it was just like, <sighs> um, and then I also got this little 365 devotions, um, daily devotions. I hear his whisper, um, encounter God's heart for you that's what it says um i have a couple of these and typically i get a new one every year but i did not do that this year i've kind of been like going through the bible on my own and you know figuring out what my devotion is going to look like in the morning but i like to have something guided every once in a while i feel like some days when you just don't know what to say now i'm just playing no for real um i wanted something guided to you so i could kind of alternate um, and I've honestly been trying to do devotion twice a day. I've been trying to do something in the morning and at night because y'all, my mind, she be struggling sometimes. So, um, and then I also got this little play mat for Oakley's floor. Y'all, this was not $18.99. I got it for $10.99. It's by the brand Madden and Macy. Um, and it's a textured play mat. And I got it cause it's machine washable. And I've been looking for something like this for her bedroom. Um, her bedroom is pretty neutral. Um, I think we're going to stick with that because, well, I'll talk about it in, a, in the update video um, for stimulation reason, but I think we're going to stick with that and kind of try to steer toward the 
Montessori um, way of teaching. Um, but I think we're gonna steer toward that. And I know that there is certain practices and things that are recommended for the room. I don't necessarily if I know if I want to lean all the way into it or if I wanna do a modified version of that. Dinner is not even done, y'all. We're having burgers tonight. Very simple Sunday. We do not really have super simple meals on Sunday. I typically try to do like, you know, old school, like cook a Sunday meal. I didn't have it in me today. Okay, good morning y'all. Well, good afternoon. Um, it's 12.03 and of course my battery is about to die. Hold on, let me grab a new battery. Okay, it's Monday. Um, I told y'all in the last clip from last night that I was probably wearing this shirt again. Please don't judge me. Um, this shirt is just, I don't know. I, and I have a couple of them that he has given me, that Jamal has given me like over the past few years. Um, let me show y'all what I'm wearing, I guess. You are also probably wondering, why is it so quiet in here? This is the first time in five months that I have been home by myself. That is why, that's crazy. Um, and I wish I wasn't working, but this is the first time in five months that I have been home by myself. I guess Jamal said today he finally feels comfortable and confident in taking Oakley out by himself. So girl, they are out. I have no idea where they're going. I didn't ask any questions. I just helped pipe, pipe, pack, blah, blah, blah. I just helped pack the diaper bag, prep some milk. He just said all he needed was one bottle and she drank half a bottle before she left. She wasn't that hungry. Um, baby girl has a tooth coming in, y'all. Like it's tip, like you can see the tip. So she's teething. That's the part of why I did not finish vlogging yesterday because last night was was a little rough. Um, we had a we had a we had a time. All I know is I went to sleep around two something, okay, um, and then woke back up at four. And Jamal kind of took that two hour in between shift for me because I needed at least to grab like a quick nap. It was a struggle last night, but she's teething and that explains so much as far as her behavior. I mean, she's been teething, but it explains her behavior of like cranky off and on um, the past few days, but it's, it's you can see the tip of the tooth. Um, so we're, that's where we are. We're at five months and we have a tooth coming in, very much overachieving over here. Today's outfit, of course, I'm wearing that same um, Ralph Lauren polo button up. Y'all, I used to get these. I remember in high school, I used to get shirts like this from the thrift store. Um, I just actually did a recent thrift shopping trip. I need to show y'all the stuff that I got. Maybe in a TikTok. I don't know. I'll show y'all the stuff that I got. I got some tweed stuff. Y'all, I got some good stuff. Don't don't sleep. Um, I got a dress from Black House White Market. White House Black Market? What, which one is it? I think it's White House Black Market. Um, my mom used to get me like skirts and stuff from there for church when I was younger, like pants, like not pants so much. I think I had a blazer from them. And I remember having a skirt and I remember having a white button up shirt, blouse from them and like a dress that had a silver zipper and it zipped up in the back. I, I remember that. Anyway, um, just wearing this plain, the plain shirt y'all saw yesterday. 
Um, I love these just just because they're so easy and it's easy to breastfeed in them. Um, so yeah, I need to pump as we as we speak. And then I am wearing these jeans that I showed on my TikTok. They are the Levi um, Denizen jeans by Levi at Target. They're a little big. I think it's just because of the boyfriend style jean because I know I wear a size eight, but for whatever reason, they just don't fit as, you know, they're not tight or anything and they're pretty loose in my waist. I keep finding myself like after a while, they keep falling down here. Like, I don't like this. Um, I like boyfriend style jeans, but I don't want my crotch, like the crotch of the pant all the way down there. So I just keep having to pull them up. And when I put on a belt, it bunches them. So I don't like that either. So I literally just wear these jeans for in the house. They have become my Monday pants. Um, yeah, they have become my Monday jean. Like for the past two Mondays, I think I've worn these. So just throw them on. They're super comfortable and they're easy to move around in. Like I can get on the floor with Oakley, play. They're comfortable when we go for our walks. It's just a good jean. Um, and that's it, that's all I'm wearing. I have on like my basic everyday jewelry. Actually, I'm wearing these earrings today that I think I got in a pack. If I'm not mistaken, this was a pack from H&M. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I didn't used to like hoops and as of recently, I've actually been into like hoops again. Well, not even recently, in the past few years. Y'all have seen me wearing hoops more, so I've been wearing hoops. I used to wear hoops all the time when I was younger. And then after a while, I just thought they didn't look right on my head. And now like I'm again giving very much mother. But I've been wearing hoops again for like over a year now. So I don't know. I'm gonna get to work. Since I'm here by myself, I decided to just try to put in, put my head down real quick and do a quick little 30 minute sprint through some work stuff. So that's what I'm getting ready to do as we speak. And then at 30, uh, now I only have 28 minutes. But um, at that mark, then I'm gonna stop, take lunch, do one quick, um, piece of content for TikTok, I think. And then I'm gonna sit down and plan out my content um, for the rest of the week because I didn't get a chance to do it on yesterday. It would be nice if I could pick up around the house too real quick, but there's no sense in that because by the time Opie gets back, she'll probably take a nap and then wake up and be ready to tear stuff up again. Y'all, she's, even though she's only five months, this girl, like, we try to limit her to a toy at a time, but somehow that does not always work stuff be everywhere diaper here burp cloth here pacifier here teether here toy here book here doll here it's just like how are you like this already i, just, I don't understand my living room is a it's a playpen
something I vlogged in a few days. Um, I actually just did a quick little sit down video that was very random. Um, it was supposed to be just a little snippet for this vlog talking about um, some things. But if you want to see it, go watch it. It's going to be up after this. Um, so if you're watching this later, check the cards. But I, it will be up at some point over the course of the weekend, week, next week. I want to share with y'all some PR that we got this week. I have not vlogged since, I think the last time I vlogged was like Tuesday, Monday, probably Monday. It's just been a crazy week and work has really been kicking my butt trying to get ramped up. Um, anyway, um, let's talk about PR we got today or this week. So I'm going to start with the first one, which I'm very excited about. If y'all follow me on Instagram or you follow me on TikTok, you know I did a video for Bask in Bloom um, a couple of weeks back. And I did a braid out video. If you know, you know that my postpartum shedding has been crazy. But I will say that in the past few weeks, um just me doing protective styles i have not touched my hair since december um so that's a good thing but in the past few weeks i have noticed that my hair is starting to do a lot better my edges are almost back um it's not just fuzzies anymore like i actually have hair there where they were gone and my hair is not shedding nearly as much or breaking as much so i'm excited to get back on the road to healthy hair it is actually very long y'all it's about i have to show y'all i'm doing a wash day this weekend but i don't think i'm gonna record it because i don't think i'm ready yet but it's about it's about right there anyway here's the box first of all i am obsessed with the branding of this brand i just feel like it's very much on point it's serene it feels i don't know it makes me want to do my hair um this box is so cool too it says i bloom in faith i'm all about affirmations these days um it says i, ooh, I bloom in faith i bloom in favor i bloom in success i bloom in freedom i bloom bloom in abundance um and i just love this box i wish i could take this and like cut it out and frame it somewhere or put it on my desk with all my other little affirmation cards but anyway i'm doing a lot okay so the first thing i got um and i've tried a few of these products in the pack they sent me um like the trial sizes or travel sizes so this is the ease leave-in conditioner y'all i even put a little bit of this at oakley's here today i liked it um to see because the sun is coming in but i really like this product as you can see we've already we've we've already opened her um then we also have the more moisture cream this is a moisture define and protecting or protection cream i'm excited about this i haven't used this um i do plan on just leaving my hair out over the next week i don't know if i want to do a wash and go or if i want to do a braid out or something but that's what this looks like i'm excited about it and they all smell so good i love when products smell good because i just like to smell good through that throughout the day um i got this brahami i think i'm saying that right i've seen a lot of videos on their instagram page of people using this and really liking it so i'm excited about that as well i haven't opened it oh that's thick oh oh that is thick it's like a creamy i like when conditioner deep conditioners are creamy um, I don't want it to be loose, of course. I'm excited about this. Okay, we're excited. It says restores and protects. We're all about protection. I think that's the biggest thing right now is for me to just protect my hair. We got the watermelon seed edge pomade, which I'm excited about. We got the herbal infused hair and scalp oil, which I'm also excited about. This is really nice too. I used a little bit of that on Oakley and I also had the so travel size of that. And I'm also excited about this hydrating vitamin curl mousse um, for curl definition and medium okay had to get a new battery and had to respond to an email for work um i have to take a picture of this because look at it in the sun Do you see that? Oh, that makes me so happy okay um but yeah let me show y'all up close better so y'all can see everything hopefully here camera focus there's the more moisture cream there is the deep conditioner or the hair mask which i'm very very excited about i think it's hard to pick a product that i'm excited about the most but i'm definitely excited about the hair mask i'm definitely excited to have a full size of the leave-in like i said because it works for oakley's hair as well i'm also excited about the oil because i just do y'all realize we are in the age of oils for um for uh hair care products I never stopped using them, but y'all know at one point we they was like, no, nah, don't use them. Um, the hair cleanser and then the mousse I'm also excited about. And then the edge pomade also excited about. So, and there's the box. Isn't it cute? And it has um, 
let me see so y'all can get their socials make sure you guys check out baskin bloom um oh, i just realized they have a youtube too um youtube instagram facebook pinterest a uh, pinterest twitter i haven't been on twitter in years okay this is the brand that we're actually working with this month i can show you this because by the time y'all see this video i'm pretty sure our posts will be up um, I actually need to go and read the brief again because, um, let me sit right here. I need to go and read the brief again because we're going to be getting everything. I'm going to start, um, kind of like outlining. I know exactly how I, in my head, how I want the campaign to go. Um, and Mustela is one of those brands. Y'all know how when you have a baby or you get pregnant and you start seeing all the mommy content or whatever, where you start finding out about all the, like brands that people use for their kids. Um, Mustela was one of them, and I think I just got attracted to the concept of having this liquid product that I could clean my baby off with in between wash day or whenever they need, you know, need me to clean it or clean them off, um, and not have to wash it off. I mean, like, you know, at the time I was just like, oh, it's kind of a brand that people are into using for their baby. And I kind of want to use it too, is my thought process. Um, and you never know if you're really going to like it because I have had some products that I purchased or had on our registry or, you know, bought over the past couple months for Oakley that you buy that are trendy and you just be like, nah. There's <laughs> a lot of stuff we have not used. Um, some stuff I don't like for her skin. Some stuff it irritates her skin or bothers her skin. And I actually have to end up either me and Jamal end up using it or we just don't use it at all. So um, to have a brand that actually has some products that work for her um, and that we actually use on a regular basis, I'm excited to be working with them. They did send us some stuff that we've never used before. I wanna make that disclaimer um, for this campaign. Um, but we, I like the brand. So I am you know, gonna use these products and tell y'all the truth, but yeah, so. Um, they just sent a little card saying happy Valentine's Day because this will be geared toward Valentine's Day. And then, move this tripod. They sent us, um, it was really nicely wrapped too. Um, they have their own little tissue paper that was inside of there, which was cool. And a bunch of this paper right here. Um, they sent, let's see, I think it's three products in here. But I have to go through this whole box of crinkles to make sure. But like I said, they sent some things that we have never tried before. So I'm excited. And it is all in a different language, of course. So I'm going to have to go onto their website to get the translation for this stuff. So I'm just going to show you all the products up close so you can see. I'm gonna have if her eczema is flared, I don't use it. But if her eczema is calm, I use it. And she doesn't really have any problems with it. Um, so I just want to say that... Um, but they actually do have products apparently for sensitive skin, eczema prone skin, skin, you know, problem skin. Um, so they asked me very, to be very specific in regards to what skin type Oakley had. And I was like, oh, I didn't know y'all had different um, freaking, <laughs> I didn't know y'all had different products for different skin types. I wish I would have known. So the first thing they sent over is this multi-purpose balm with avocado extract, which I am excited. And it says that it's for the whole family. Whenever a product says it's for the whole family, do Oakley and I get to try it out very long? Cause y'all know who comes and gets some too. That's what happened with some of my Baskin Bloom products he was taking, but it's okay, it's for the whole family. Um, So I love that we love universal products because it just makes getting dressed and getting ready easy in the morning when I can moisturize my body real quick and then bend down and moisturize her. I don't have to go in the room and get something else. So we really love products that are multi-use in this family. I've learned that about us over the last few months. Um, but this is a multi-purpose balm. I don't want to, it says to dry areas, face and body. So this is probably going to be good for her elbows and stuff like that in the mornings and um, her knees. Because I try to keep them moisturized throughout the day. And I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's really cute. I love like, y'all know me. I love muted colors. Very excited. And I might come in here today and actually grab some B-roll for this. Because the sun is really is popping today um then we also got this soothing moisturizing body lotion and then they also sent over a soothing moisturizing face cream that also has zero fragrance in it questions about my business too y'all should see the seven skin dms um i try to pick like two or three messages a day and respond about where seven skin i just 
I told my mom the other day, I really don't know. Um, Jamal suggested that, suggested that I make a recipe book and post it on the website <laughs> if people want to make the stuff themselves. But I'm not interested in necessarily just giving my recipes away right now like that. I mean, like maybe a few of them, but certain things like... Um, anyway, I don't I don't have a date for you guys anymore. I had one and then um, just in my devotion time, meditation time, um, I'm kind of following God's lead on this and he is just telling me to ease back into things slowly um, because I'm already very much overwhelmed with work and wanting to get, you know, better at being consistent with creating and then being a mom, being a wife, managing a household and all that stuff. Um, and just to add one more thing to my plate, I think it would honestly irritate my anxiety right now because I do believe I have postpartum anxiety. Um, I think it's, I've always dealt with anxiety, but I think it is definitely heightened um, just from postpartum because I'm realizing like that it's a lot more triggered than it has ever been before. So yeah, I'm not really trying to irritate it or, and I know that people, I, I do have a nice, you know, group uh, community that follows Seven Skin and actually love the products. And to be very honest, I have a few family friends that love the products. I will make them products. Like, y'all, I never really wanted business to be, like, just about money. You know, like, I don't know. Um, I would just make them products. I would just make them their stuff. Um, but as far as like opening it back up as a full on business again, right at this very moment, I don't know. Whenever God tells me to, I will. I'm always, always formulating. I am always testing things. I am always making stuff to figure out if it, you know, is a good fit. Always trying to make stuff better. Always trying to make butters better. Always trying to make all of my products and stuff like that better. But in this very moment, um... I'm just, I think maybe, maybe God is letting, allowing me to use this face to make my products like as bomb as they could possibly be. Cause I, I've been making stuff, but I also get the chance to try out some other brands that I've been interested in and a lot more black owned brands. I've been trying a lot more natural based skincare. I've been trying out a lot more, um, brands that are affordable. So I'm going to try out some cool stuff over the past couple months as well. So I'm not mad at that either. Like I enjoy skincare that much that I'm willing to try out try out stuff you know and have my own that don't bother me at all some family friends that I need to reach out to because I want to make some butter neck for them specifically next week um so yeah maybe I'll record that and vlog it for y'all I did I make Oakley products all the time so yeah it's not that I, I just stopped cold turkey but I just um business wise at this very moment I don't know. And then I also thought about, let me get up. I gotta go to my computer, y'all. I gotta be quiet though, because Oakley sleep in the living room. She refused to sleep in her room. Um, um, also, Jamal told me maybe I should just drop the product that people ask for the most, which is just like an unscented body butter. Look at her. Wrapped up in my work blanket. I should drop a drop the just the unscented body butter and then just have random drops of it um which i did formulate a cream version to the unscented body butter and let me just tell you we're using it up we love it um i just made another batch like a couple days ago so i don't know maybe i'll do that and just only have that one product for a while and then once we figure out life we still don't know if we're moving like months i don't know um, it would definitely be unscented. I have gone away from too many scented things on my skin just because I, I just have. Um, and I think a lot of people have. A lot of people are, it's very interesting the season that we're in. Oh, that's that. Hold on, y'all. It's so hard to find a place to talk in, in this place, in this apartment. Um... But I think a lot, it's very funny the season that we're in, like everybody is kind of on the same bandwagon, like using products that are just super good for your skin and I'm here for it. Like I love that we're all being intentional about products that are just going to really help our skin out in the long run. I'll tell you now the vlog is ending today because we have way too much footage. Um, so the vlog's going to end today. I don't know if this is going to be in the end right here. I might end it in just a little bit and see if I 
get y'all some Oakley time. I don't really like to put her in like everything, um, but I get it if you, sometimes if you wanna create, you're just gonna get glimpses of my kid and my husband. But I don't just go up to them like all the time with the camera, you know what I mean? I like it just being my thing, if that makes sense. I get this b roll and I will talk to y'all in a little bit. <laughs> saw last night but our whole little area lost power um i have no idea what happened but we lost power and we we're without power for like three almost three hours i think it came back on at like nine something went off around six something so almost three hours um oakley and i ended up just laying in my bed and going to sleep so i did not get a chance to finish the vlog off yesterday or do um or do what I told y'all I was gonna do, which is my nighttime skincare routine. Now look at my hair. How much has just grown back? Like, this is crazy. Um, just last year, or you know, the end of the year before, I had short hair, I had just cut my hair. And to be back here, this is wild. So, um, I'm gonna do my morning skincare. I actually have to hurry up very quickly because I have a meeting in like 15 minutes, I think. Um, and I we woke up late. But I just wanna do a little length check for y'all. It's kinda of hard to see against the black. Look how long my hair has grown. Isn't that crazy? I know I need a, another trim. It's been about four months since I've had a trim. But I, the reason I probably need another trim is just for postpartum. And it actually, I think my hair is even again now. Cause at one point we had it like here and here. It was really weird. I can't really reach the back very well but um even like my bangs were not this long look at that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'll probably just wear it for, for the day um i know i haven't combed through my hair so i do have some shedding which is why i wanted to put it up my hair's been embraced for a month so i'm pretty sure i have a lot of shedding i probably need to put it up to be safe but i'll leave it and uh just yeah, it's been a month and I'm like ending postpartum. Well, hopefully I'm, I think I'm ending postpartum shedding. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of hairs in there, but I don't have time to comb through it. Um, Cause that's gonna be a process. I'm gonna need to like do some very small sections to save my hair. But let's finish off this vlog real quick. So I have to show you all my morning skincare. Hold on, I have to get a towel. So going in with something gentle, this is dehydrating facial cleanser from CeraVe. Um, I think I told y'all at the beginning of this vlog that I kinda will switch the cleansers up some, just depending. So, I also have to find a little clippy clip to clip that back. I cannot see. Y'all know I don't have my contacts yet. I didn't have the appointment on Tuesday though, y'all. I didn't vlog that, but I had the appointment, so. Oh. 
texture. This is so gentle, it does not lather, but it leaves my face feeling so like silky smooth. Going in with the Heritage, Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin. I really like this. I told y'all I saw a video that there's controversy behind this product. I'm tired. <laughs> very tired i don't even know what it is i stopped watching it um if it's meant for me to know it will come back and god will show it to me again but i just i can't everything there's a problem with everything like going in with my um hyaluronic acid from good molecules it's not the only one that i've done that i really like right now to be honest before everybody was using hyaluronic acid, I've been using hyaluronic acid for forever. So, I feel like I've tried so many that I could tell you what's a good hyaluronic acid and what, what is not. This one is really good, I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. I'm trying to squeeze all of the <laughs> rest of the product out of here for my new one. Um, but this is the Wake Up Eye Gel by Good Molecules. I'm going in with that under my eyes. It definitely makes a difference. I have seen a difference in my under eye and just how bright it is and how how it's not as dark anymore. And that's coming from somebody who has had dark under eyes all her life. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I kind of just listen to my skin and I've been having a really great skin week by just doing these steps right here. Um, and it's not that I won't add, you know, do my full on skincare routine some days, but I also wanna listen to my skin. I don't have any texture on my nose or anything, so sometimes I think I just be overdoing it to stay in the loop and feel like I know what I'm doing, but the reality is like, sometimes your skin just it will tell you what it needs. She will tell me if she is breaking out and I need to add in one of my clarifying serums or just whatever, so. Um, and then I know I'm not going anywhere, but that's just a habit. I need to go to Target. I should have got mine at Target yesterday, I forgot. Um, the weightless face sunscreen from Hawaiian Tropics. I don't know. It's never broken me out. It's never done me wrong. I've been using this sunscreen for years and I'm sticking with it. Hmm. We thought the baby was choking. She just like laughed, coughed. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna get dressed, drink the rest of my coffee, brush my teeth, and get ready to hop on my computer for work. I have like two minutes to get dressed, but I'm gonna just go turn my computer on now. Um, so I can get ready for this meeting to end the week. See, I got shedding all right here. Like it's just coming out. I might have to just um, put my hair up y'all because yeah, but it's not bad. Like these are not broken hairs. I always try to go through and make sure I see the white bulbs. And I see a bunch of little white bulbs on the breakage. I've been keeping my hair super moisturized too. So that's all to you guys later. Um, thank you for watching and stay blessed.